any other question guys yes sir so how do you trust the team members to maintain the same level of service which you have as a leader and not dilute your brand <laughs> let's be practical i had that problem 7 or 8 years before and i used to get frustrated a lot because i used to think i am the best i am the only one who can give the best services right i was so fascinated in my own zone that i used to keep thinking nobody can match me and i think that is what the biggest mistake of my life try to understand at some point of time i also learned about it you have to give people a chance you have to try test them you have to see and you have to have a faith on them that they can do better than you if they make mistake and tell your team members my first and simple instruction to all the team members is i love those people who make mistakes because that is what is going to teach you but i hate those people who repeat them so if somebody is making the same mistake it means there's some problem right so guys you have to have a trust and faith on your people you have to give them a chance to perform and believe me they going to do better than you because you are complacent by the time the work which you are giving it to your team members and they can do a better job they can perform better at the end of the day it is very very important for their career too so this is all our own fear factors it is not the problem of others it is our own problem right thank you what's your name sir gobin gobin any other question guys one more question my friend i'm going to charge you 20 dollars for the next question you are asking too much no 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 don't worry about it i i love people who interact i've recently started following you and uh, you're an inspiration for me and um tell my wife <laughs> <laughs> and uh i really she says you are a frustration for me <laughs> is it the same word frustration and inspiration has something t i o n in common <laughs> so you know I, i really want to know what are the mistakes that you made when you were trying to build a team the that others listening uh to to this today can avoid like mm. give us like four or five mistakes that we can avoid i don't understand why you want to avoid mistakes that is the biggest mistake people want to avoid mistakes not right guys not right Let me ask you. You talk about mistake. What is the spelling of mistake? M I S T A K E. No. You don't know the basic English. It's not it's a wrong spelling. What is the spelling of learning by the way? L E A R N I N G. Who agrees with me? Who agrees with him on that? The spelling of learning L E A R N I N G. Yes sir. Is that right? I don't think so. Yes sir. Huh? A B C D? No, no. The spelling of learning is M I S T A K E. That is the spelling of learning. M I S T A K E. Now tell me, you don't want to learn in your life? You want to learn in your life or no? So that is the spelling of learning. Don't avoid mistakes, guys, in your life. Please, love. making mistakes and as i said don't repeat them learn from them because mistake is the foundation stone of learning in our life we don't have enough time to make all the mistakes so what we do is some we learn from other mistakes other people's mistake and some we make over of our own i do agree with you 100% on to that so i will tell you but i just wanted to clear your concept of making mistakes or not making mistakes Don't try to avoid all the mistakes in your life. Right? So if you ask me what mistakes I made, I don't I did not actually make any mistake. Everything was a learning for me. But what you can avoid, the first thing what you can avoid is having a negative mindset. The the first question you asked that was a negative mindset. That if I teach somebody and that person go and open up their own business please come out of that that is the first thing you should avoid right 
Second thing you should avoid is being complacent in your life. So what happens is, if you want to be successful in your life, you have to keep a simple formula. If you are sitting here, when you look down, have an attitude of gratitude. Say thanks that you are better. If you look up, take an inspiration from there. That I have to be like him or I have to learn something from him. Right? So if you have that attitude, it will take you further in your life. And that is where most of the people, they mis make mistake. When they look up, they started going gratitude. When they look down, they started taking inspiration. Because I did not make those mistakes which you say. I was very quick in my succession. So my simple formula was, I want to replace myself after every two years. I want to replace my position. So that somebody else can take my position and I'm ready to go on to the next position. So how you can avoid that challenge, what you said, have more number of people in your surrounding. So let's say, if you are afraid that somebody will go and open up the business, have three or four people. Because not everybody is same. Not everybody has the same thought process. Not everybody has the same risk taking, right? But you can always get benefited in a bigger system. Anybody else, guys, any other question? Thank you. Uh, my name is Akshay. Akshay? Akshay, yeah. What? Like Akshay Kumar, yeah. That's right. how I explain it to everyone. Um, but it's nice to finally see you in person. I'm not a real estate agent. I'm actually a marketing consultant. So I would just came here to open my eyes and see what it's like to be in this business. I just had one general question for you. Um, considering you started off in real estate, you know, a couple of years ago, I think you mentioned 2003 or 2000. In 2007, I started my real estate career. Okay. 2003, so, I came to Canada. Okay, so I mean, I've been here for like three, four years. You know, just understanding what's how the GTA has developed. Like things have really changed over the last ten years, right? Like in terms of property, you were seeing how it's really appreciated over time. So, is this still a good time to be a real estate agent? Like, how, where do you see things going? Not a good time. <laughs> Give up your license. <laughs> Akshay. There's always good time for those who actually wants to succeed in their life. Try to understand actually, when I came into business, there was enough competition at that time. It will be enough competition today and it is going to be enough competition after 10 years. That doesn't really matter. I don't mean it from a competition perspective. Like yes. I'll give an example like in sports, you know, like I watch a lot of football. Like football has changed like 10, 15 years ago to the way it's played. Yes. Like if you want to be competitive today, like it's it, you have to play in a different style. Yes. So in the same way I say like from your experience, like our real estate agents today, the ones that are successful, are they doing something different compared to what, you know, let's say when you started off? They are not doing anything different. The only different what thing. See, every successful realtor, there's only one difference. They are doing it. That's it. They are doing it and the people who are not successful, they are not doing it. Very simple. Listen, I have seen people successful in this market who doesn't know ABC of the technology. And trust me, I'm one example. My definition of technology is how to write an email. And that too is my biggest fear in my life. Still, I go and make videos. Still. I go and do some activities. Still, I'm like doing these sessions, right? I don't know how to speak proper English. You might have seen people make fun of my pronunciations. Pooperty, poperty, pooperty. <laughs> you don't know that? Come on. Listen. And now, the good part is, people who are making fun of me, like I changed, I worked hard, I took help from Shreya, how can I say property? <laughs> And now they want me to say puberty. <laughs> There's always good time for those who wants to be successful. Even in today's market, you can be successful as a realtor. It all depends upon your thought process, how you want to bring yourself into the field. So let me tell you the uh, success formula in the real estate industry. When market is good, a good realtor makes money. When market is bad, a good realtor makes more money. And when there is a recession, a good realtor makes the best money. Think about it, what could be a better market than this when 40% of the realtor are out of the market? 
It's an opportunity for you to enter. The only one thing which you have to do is choose the right platform. That's important. That can make a lot of differentiation in your success story. Lot of differentiation. See, Kavi is sitting here. So she was. Card be ready, huh? Card be ready. <laughs> She's working Honestly. on her game changer, man. Honestly. <laughs> <laughs> no, but try to understand what is important is is you. So, please be rest assured. It is a wonderful time, and trust me, you're going to be a great success in the industry. Thank you very much. Give a round of applause for Akshay, guys. So we're going to be. Uh, a little bit quick on to this now. Yes. But let me ask you, genuinely, are you enjoying the session? Yes. yes. I don't think so. It's only 25% people said yes. Are you enjoying the session? Yes. yes. I think it was only Kavi who was shouting. <laughs> so guys, why teams are important in real estate? Because in real estate, it can be a lot of workload sharing. It can be multiple circle of influence. It can be cross promotion and collaborations, it can be personal growth, it can be great success for all the team members. Very, very important, right? Who are in the real estate right now? Is there, not, not, not people from SaveMax, who are in the real estate? <laughs> not in SaveMax. People are in SaveMax are not realtors. Yeah. They are entrepreneurs. Entrep I was about to say. They are entrepreneurs. They think differently. When I was, 14 or 15 years of age, I read somewhere, you have to reach at a level in your life when you are sleeping and you are making money. Am I right? And that is where I started understanding and learning the concept of passive income. And there are a lot of people who successfully work on the passive income model. A lot of you might have investment properties. Did I say right? Property? It was sounding like pooperty. <laughs> was it sounding like pooperty? <laughs> so the passive income is something which we all should think in our life for one simple reason. Do you love your family? Do you love your kids? The passive income is the most impactful and effective tool to pass it to the next generation. That can be done through various means and ways. It can be a lot of people, they invest in real estate. You are getting rental income. Somebody is paying your mortgage. A lot of people, they go into the stock market. A lot of people, they invest in gold. A lot of people, they invest in commodities so that your money is working for you. So that is one way of earning the passive income. The other way of earning the passive income is, which most of the time people misunderstand, and because there were a lot of systems which were actually built up very poorly. They were built up to give the benefit only to the top. So we were very thoughtful when I started thinking of building up a passive income system. And there were a lot of hit and trials, a lot of learning, a lot of failures which we have to face. But finally, we were able to build up a model which is beautifully working for a lot of people building up on their passive income. So I'll give you an example. There are team members in SaveMax who are making six figure without writing a single deal. They are making six figures without writing a single deal. Do you think that six figure is interesting? Akshay, how old are you? I'm 27. 27? You look like 25, man. So you're two years older than me? <laughs> you're two years older than me. Yes, come on. He's saying, really? How come you're making a lot more? <laughs> what? <laughs> making a lot more what? <laughs> <laughs> I, I love you, man. I, I want you to win Save Max. Because he is so, uh, I should say, so innocent. Uh, so he emits such a good positive energy. It's very, very important, right? 
It's a good thing. People don't want to ask questions. They don't want to learn in life. And you know, my only thing was, I used to keep asking questions for myself. Because we are living in the best era of the mankind where we are so fortunate to have all these means and tools to learn. Even if you are watching a video, you can watch video on your phone 10 hours, as long as you are learning something out of it. As, you, as long as you are implementing that learning. That's very, very important. And we have so much, in today's world, so many means. Like you don't need to go and uh, look for a mentor. You can actually go and find out a mentor. Uh, but you know, that, that's what I was telling him. Don't just go by what somebody said. Experience it, experiment it, see it, if it works for you. That's important. All right? So earn money even when you are not working. Remember, the more people on your team, the more seconds in a day you get. We spoke about that concept of 86,400. If you can share your learning with others, if you can help other people to succeed, you can multiply that time which is going to be a win-win situation, and that is what we do. It gives you more time to grow your business, more money from increased business, more time to do the things you like. A lot of people, they come and ask me, Raman, you are actually building up such a big business, you might be very busy. And I tell them, guys, you don't build a big business to get busy, you build a big business to get free. And that is where a lot of people fail, building up the team, because they think they should do everything. They are the best, as uh, our friend said. No, there are people who can do a better job than you. This is what I learned in my life with some hard lessons. I was very arrogant at one point of time. But I learned the more you want to grow, the humble you need to become. Always be thankful to those who helped you in getting success in your life. People don't have an attitude to gratitude, and that is one of the reasons why they cannot achieve their best limits. Right? Those are the concepts which really works, but people don't understand that. And if somebody doesn't understand, they actually cap their potential. Right? So that is the power of passive income. And if you want to know more about it, you just have to simply go on savemax.com website because I'm not promoting savemax here. The intention of these sessions is to give you what I have learned in my life. Guys, it doesn't matter which company, which brokerage you are working. We all are part of a team because real estate is a wonderful cooperating system. In one way or the other, you are helping SaveMax to grow. Same way, we are helping you to grow. So whatever I have learned in my life, I decided I'm going to share it with more and more people so that maybe we can build up a better profession and maybe we can create more success stories in this country. Right? So we offer our realtors a unique compensation plan. We call it as a game changer. Uh, as an active game changer realtor, you earn commission plus receive passive income. And we have actually gone to the next level of that passive income. It is not only until you are working you get that money. It, is even, it even works after your retirement. So whatever system you built up, if you decide to retire, you will be getting 50% of that income for the rest of your life. And debt is an unfortunate but a must part of our life. We have even think it through, taking it to your next generation. By chance, if anybody is working under SaveMax and they have built up a successful model, and something unfortunate happens to them, their family keeps getting the income from that game changer model for next five years, which is, I think, 25% of it. They can still make $100,000, $50,000, and you can very well imagine what happens to a family when the bread earner gets an unfortunate exit to this world. So. That is what is the power which we have created in our system. And there are a lot of role models. There are a lot of people who are taking advantage of it. But as I said, we're not going to go too much in details. If you want to know more about it, you can go and visit our website. So guys, I hope you had some good time today. You enjoyed the session. And one simple request. Don't try to learn everything in one day. 
just take one small lesson, whatever you like. Try it, experiment it, and see how it works for you. And that is how you're going to build up success. Now, who wants to, be, who wants to become a millionaire in their life? I have only seven people on this side and five on this side. So whosoever is not raising the hand, they want to become millionaire. I give you a, <laughs> what do you call it? Who <laughs> says shrap? Who wants to become millionaire? Somebody is raising two hands. Who is this, Radha? Priya, Priya, you are already a millionaire, isn't it? But I want to become a millionaire. So we are going to end this session by giving you a clarity of the concept that you cannot become a millionaire. That is a wrong concept. If you want to become a millionaire, first learn to earn $100,000. You should start that I want to earn $1,000 to start with. Then learn to earn 10,000, then 100,000, and then a millionaire. But the problem is, we all want to become millionaire first. <laughs> I don't know. You cannot jump onto the roof. You just have to go step by step. So next time when anybody asks you, you want to be a millionaire, tell them no. If you are already earning 10,000, say no, I want to achieve the next level. I want to first learn to make $100,000. And then go on to the next level. Then try to make quarter million, half million, and then a million. So let's give a round of applause for everybody, guys. Thank you very much for coming for today's session. I hope you enjoyed it. And we are putting our level best efforts uh, to bring more and more of these sessions for you. Uh, let's give a round of applause for all SaveMax team, especially Jaspreet. <laughs> this 19-year-old guys coordinate, manage all these things single-handedly but with the team, okay? <laughs> uh, the money which we are raising from this, it's not for our business. It's not for ourselves. Uh, we will be uh, giving all that money to the charity. I don't do it to make, make money. This is basically, I enjoy doing it. So next session, when we are doing it uh, round table with Raman, we, we're gonna issue the check at that time to the charity, like wherever we want to contribute. So thank you very much for being such a wonderful support.